This is the first of five short tutorials showing how to set up and publish regions in the space virtual world. Uh, we'll cover how to link your Unity project with, on your desktop with your account and we'll run through the setting up of your scene ready for export. So to follow this tutorial, uh, first you need to have done three things. You need to have installed the Unity game engine, just the free version is fine. You need to have logged into our curator.sign.space uh, uh, website and you need to have imported the space editor pack into your Unity project. And when you've done all of that, you uh, should see a uh, a space menu item in the top menu in Unity um, uh, which contains some of our tools. So that's what you're looking for. Good. So the first thing you need to do uh, now is link the Unity project with your Curator account. And you do that uh, by logging into your uh, Curator account, curator.sign.space. You can see I'm logged in already and click on the API Keys tab. I've created one already, but you just create new uh, key, copy it, and then come back to Unity, go to that space menu uh, item, and go to Upload Settings. And you'll see uh, I've done it already, but you paste that API key uh, into that field, and when you click Check, it will confirm that the key is valid and now your account is linked. And because in a single Unity project you can have as many uh, regions, as many virtual goods items as you want, you should really only need to do that once uh, for your account and then you're good to go. Okay, so we'll come now on to the specifics of preparing a scene. Uh, the first thing is that when you create a new uh, scene in Unity it will deposit a main camera uh, you might use that for review purposes, um, uh, but uh, I'm going to knock it out. It gets stripped out when you publish because we use the cameras attached to your uh, avatars um, uh, when you actually log in uh, uh, on the live servers. So now we're ready to assemble a scene using whatever assets, FBX files, OBJ files. We can use uh, Unity Terrain, uh, fantastic terrain building tools. Um, I'm going to open an existing scene uh, that I bought from the Unity Asset Store. Uh, and this is a very beautiful um, desert ruin. Um, so you can see all these components. Most of them are FBX files. If I zoom in on one, then I can uh, uh, show you the scene. So here you can see, uh, really quite beautiful. For those of you who aren't familiar with um, if you've come from other virtual worlds and you haven't used Unity before. Unity, uh, we built space with this game engine because it has a wonderful array of tools, uh, level of detail systems, you can bake lighting, you can apply light probes, you can uh, apply reflection probes, you can get a AAA game title quality um, uh, of, of environment for your virtual world region. And when it's all assembled, as this one already is, uh, the last two things I'm going to show in this tutorial are we need to add a, uh, a landmark to the scene. That's where you and your guests arrive when they teleport in from another region or directly from the URL, the region's unique URL. Uh, when I add that, uh, it appears where I'm looking in the scene. So I'm going to maneuver my view, and then in the hierarchy, I'm going to create, and then create other, and then landmark. And now at the very bottom of the scene hierarchy, you can see that new object has appeared. And if I hover my cursor over the scene, I then press F, uh, you can see the camera springs out and shows me that's what I've just created. And uh, in the inspector on the right here, I'm going to make two changes. I'm going to set the type to landing zone, and I'm going to tick spawn point. And you can see it's become a yellow framed transparent panel. And that's where people will arrive. And on top of the usual uh, red 
blue and green arrow keys showing how to move the object around. There's also this slightly larger yellow arrow uh, and that actually uh, determines the uh, direction that your guests will be facing when they teleport in. So you can see I can rotate this around uh, left or right. Um, I'm going to leave it where it is because I want them to face that uh, archway when they arrive. Now I'm going to move it down. Uh, one last point on the spawn point, the landmark, is um, I wouldn't drop it right onto the ground because there's a chance your guests' feet uh, might spawn below the ground and they'll drop below the terrain. Uh, so I normally put it about four or five feet above the ground and then when they arrive they'll drop gently onto the sand. So that's the landmark. Now I'm going to add one other component. I'm going to go back to the space menu item on the top menu bar and I'm going to click scene settings. And um, again that has created a new object in the hierarchy uh, called scene export settings and if I look at that in the inspector you can see a, a long uh, list and array of different uh, fields and settings uh, which uh, I'm going to input into and review before submitting uploading the scene to the live servers and the other tutorials in this series take us through each of these uh, groups of settings.